hello music producers and welcome to this exciting video all right guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you the difference between midi patterns and audio clips when to use either of them and how to maximize the use of them in your projects all right so first things first i have to make the statement that there is actually no major difference in the output like there is no one that is actually that sounds better than the other one and to prove this i have this short melody and drum loop that we have going on here okay it is the same sound but one of them is just midi all midi one of them is all audio clip all right so i'm just going to go ahead and play over this and you're going to hear that there's actually no difference Alright guys, so as you can see, it is totally the same thing, practically just like a copy and paste of the whole thing. There's actually absolutely no difference between the mini patterns and the audio clips. So let's talk about the differences and where one shines above the other one. Alright, so first things first is the CPU usage, okay? So MIDI files, you understand MIDI files has to go through the plugins, has to go through the mixer, has to go through all the effects and everything. Due to that reason, MIDI file takes a whole lot more CPU usage down audio files. I'm going to go ahead and play the MIDI patterns so that you can see the CPU usage over here. As you can see, it's getting up to 24, 25, 26, 27, okay, 20. <laughs> okay, so you can see it's around 20 something, 25, 24. At a point, it went up to 28. Okay, and now if I'm to play the audio clips. You can see they're just around 8, 9, 10, 8, 9. Okay, 10, 9, 8. And once we go to the mini clips, you can see it spikes up again back to 29, 27. Okay, so you can see this is this is this is a major difference. Like this is very, very important, and it's very, very nice for you to be aware of this thing because sometimes you might be working, even if you have a powerful system, sometimes I'm working on a project where you just have so many plugins open, so many plugins on, and it's draining down your system like your your audios are now starting to lag and all those kind of things if you can those this it's a very good time to then merge some of those clips into audio clips merge some of those midi patterns into audio clips and there's a link in the description okay to a video where i covered how to both convert audio to midi and midi to audio you can do both okay you can do both you can convert audio to midi and you can convert midi to audio so if you if that is something you want to know about the link is in the description all right so aside the cp usage sometimes you want to change the key of the instrument or the key of the song you're making in this case midi actually shines a whole lot more than audio clips because for midi you can just go over here and just change the key you can just take it up take it down play whatever do whatever i want to do with it but in audio clip it is already printed in so what you have to do is you have to affect the pitch and it's it it doesn't do it doesn't doesn't actually get that doesn't get it right okay it doesn't just get it right so let's just go and just work with this and i'm going to take this five semitones down okay one two three four five i'm going to go ahead and also affect this one right here one two three four five and as i'm the way i'm taking all of them down is just i press ctrl a on the keyboard and then hold shift and then move my arrows up and down that's how i that's how i change the pitch of everything together and to do this i'm just going to go ahead i've already set it to five just go and go ahead and take it down take this down also so now if i play the media you notice that it still sounds very okay everything is sounding as clean as possible but the audio clip it, it starts to lose some of those originality some of the quality starts to get lost <music>
So as you can see, there's a difference between when you're dealing with MIDI clips and when you're dealing with audio clips when it comes to changing the key of the song. As you can see, some of the, the authenticity of the song itself, the value, the quality of the sound was somehow lost when we started um, switching to the audio clip, especially over here in this, uh, this it, it, it was totally, totally, totally went off. Now, it's not all sounding all that bad, okay? In cases when you just have no choice, you can just use like this. It's not like it's totally bad. It's, it's, it's still okay. It's still sounding good. It's still sounding nice. But it's just that it is, it is different from what you actually initially planned. And it, in some cases, it might sound bad. In some cases, it might be a good tool. In some cases, it might be actually what you're looking for. This effect might be what you want. Okay, so it varies. So you can just pick what works best for you. And I'm just trying to show you the difference between one and the other one. All right, guys. So another um, difference between MIDI patterns and audio clips, it's when it comes to drum programming. All right, guys. So as you can see right here, we have all audio clips, the drum, the snare, the hi-hat, all audio clips. While over here, we have them in MIDI. We have them placed in the piano roll, as you can see, everything right here is all in the piano roll. Different producers have different processes of in which they make their drums, okay? Some producers will just directly put the audio clip right here in the playlist while other producers do it in the piano roll. There's no difference like we've heard. There's no difference in the drums. All of them sound the same. But there are some things that you can do in the piano roll that you can do in the playlist right here. And there's some things that you can do over here in the playlist that you can do in the piano roll, okay? There's some things that are just easier to do in both of them so you just have to be aware of this sense so that you can actually use anyone whenever you want to use it or whenever you feel it to be easier for you to use so the first things first when drum programming okay as you can see we have different controls right here in the playlist there are numerous controls we can actually just affect the velocity of this individual note we can affect the panning we can affect the timing we can change a lot a whole lot of things here and if you are trying to achieve that in the playlist it's going to be uh it's going to be very very stressful okay just imagine you want to be panning all these individual hi-hats to the left and panning all of the, each of them to the right you have to individually do that and it's going to be it's going to be a headache but in the playlist is actually very very simple for you to do that you just have to go over to the notes pan and just move all this up and down it's very very simple also affecting the velocity also if you want to affect the velocity if you want the the volume to rise okay you can easily just do that in the piano roll but doing that here in the playlist is going to be a bit stressful it's going to take much more it's going to take a whole lot more time okay and then over here in the playlist one thing that is very very useful and that majorly we always kind of always use in the in the playlist is when it comes to things like all these extra effects like risers crashes and all those kind of things you mostly just want to do that in the playlist because it is just easier to kind of do that in the playlist and it's easier to visualize also for example i can just go ahead and add a riser right here okay and you can see it's easier for me to just manipulate the riser right here i can just go ahead and cut it off at a certain point i can go ahead and do some extra effects to it i can trim the in and the out okay so you can see audio clips also give you some kind of advantage okay over midi and midi also has some advantage over audio clips and also you have to be aware of this thing when drum programming because it might actually feel like there is a difference but there is actually none okay so one thing about um loading in audio clips is that the volume comes at its maximum okay but when using the piano roll it doesn't load it at 100 percent at initially it doesn't doesn't start at 100 percent actually so you might feel that the volume of the of the kick is not at it's not as loud as or it's not as punchy as the audio clip we're not knowing that it just has to do with the velocity okay i've gone ahead to increase all this to the maximum as you can see they are all to the max that is why it's kind of sounding the same so in case that is something that you might feel is a very very big difference because some people feel that um when they when they import directly into the place it the kick sounds a whole lot better and sounds a whole lot punchy but that is not the case it just has to do with your velocity and this is something that it won't take you up to a second to just do and it's not something that's not something that will take your time okay so just go ahead and do that and um basically there is just that so as you can see between audio clips and midi patterns there is basically no difference between them okay it's just 
when it comes to the output, when it comes to the audio that comes out, there is no difference apart from when you are um, changing the key like we covered before. That is the only case where there's a difference in the sound. But as you can see, there are some times when audio clips actually is preferable to use than MIDI files and there are some times when MIDI files are preferable to use than audio clips. It's just to know when to use them and how to use them and how to apply them. Alright guys, so that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bells so that you don't miss out on future videos that I post. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.